Yo guys, what's going on? Got some BT8 gameplay for you guys. So down on the bottom, I am playing a pretty prominent deck from the set 7 format, which was yellow-purple hybrid, but this time incorporating a lot of the new cards like Ophonimon Fall Down Mode, uh, the new Cody Tamer, and just lots of really good removal like Chaos Degrade, uh, Flame Hell Scythe, I believe it's called, but so lots of really, really cool synergy uh, within this deck. Uh, over on the top there, I am playing against a green deck. This is going to be Shivamon. So Shivamon on a very very powerful counter against a lot of like security control type decks because of the fact that you know during the turn you unsuspend him you get to just immediately trash the top card of your opponent's security now the deck is really cool however i think its downside is that it relies on all of your opponents or like all of your digimon being suspended in order to get your effects to proc but they've got a lot of really cool cards to get you advantage and board control um like your opponent's digimon so the namek mon there i think it's called the sloth guy you get to suspend him during the main phase and then add any green digimon amongst the top three to your hand and then the climb on there is the level five uh for shiva mon well they have two level five so that guy's really good because he's another board controlly card and then helps you get your Digimon suspended if they aren't already. Um, and then they've also got Pistmon, I believe his name is, which is the more balanced Digisorption. So he's a Digisorption minus two for a level five instead of a Digisorption minus three. I think they realized that they needed to take better consideration in designing the Digisorption cards. Uh, so that guy's really good as well. And then we're just going to see a Terriermon played over here for a cost of three. So with that, my opponent already has three Digimon in play, not something you want to see and my oh, hand is pretty terrible to be honest so I'm going to go ahead Digivolve into the Kazemon and then Digivolve Zephyrmon just to try to cycle some more cards. Drew into more hybrids which I don't need but I'm just going to swing over uh, the slot there so that he can't um, you know use it again the next turn and then follow it up with a TK card if he does decide to attack me with some of his monsters uh, I will be gaining some memory next turn so then we're just going to see the Terriermon Assistant use the Digiburst 1 to be able to add the top card of the deck since it is a green Digimon um, so that's that's another really good card for just getting advantage uh, throughout the, your deck because your deck is basically all green Digimon. We're going to see the Monochromon Digivolve for 2, which is actually pretty scary since it's an answer to most level 5s or lower. Uh, we see like value out of Vanilla's, you know, go in and out of the format, but I think Monochromon is just an overall really, really solid card. And then we're just going to see Mimi play to 4 2. Now, I'm actually not going to uh, gain anything because he didn't uh, hit my security, so we're both at 5. And then we're just going to top deck the TK, which is really nice. But unfortunately, again, my security isn't really the best. I'm going to debate on taking the Flame Hell Sight there, uh, but I actually just changed my mind in a little bit because I was like, well, I might as well just leave that in security and, um, you know, get the Cody instead but I was thinking like I can just play like a Kazemon or something off it in the trash so uh, my mild cheating there guys so we're gonna take the Cody instead Cody's really cool because he's just a memory gain retainer like at the start of your turn if you do have a yellow Digimon in play which is really cool because basically every Digimon you play in this deck is yellow aside from um, of course like Zwart defeat Kazemons and stuff um, but we're just going to swing into security and then hit the top card is a Zwart defeat so that is super unfortunate for my my opponent it's really really difficult for green to deal with a uh, sword defeat because most of their cards suspend your opponent's digimon like beat over them stuff like that they don't really have a lot of just like straight up removal cards aside from stuff like Nidhog and like Terror Cluster, but no one's playing Terror Cluster. Uh, any anyway, so we're going to see an Extramon Digivolve for a cost of two, which is a really cool card. Uh, he has the effect of on Digivolve, I think. Um, you get to suspend one of your Digimon to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and then go into the climb on. Of course, got a really good uh, one Digivolving get effect, but also has a pretty solid inherited. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and gain two because of the TK Kari. So starting me with five uh, memory there, and then we're just going to start Digivolving into the Kazimon for two. Hit a Zoe, but I don't think there is any uh, hybrids in my security. I'm pretty sure I know um, everything that's in there. Uh, we're going to run over the Monochromon with the Zwart Defeat and probably just play the Zoe anyways and then play the Cody maybe. Uh, so we're going to look through anyways double flame hell side by the way which is uh pretty pretty sick uh but then also two gazimon so that's really unfortunate and then just going to play a cody to try to get value off of that in the next turn 
Unfortunately for me, my opponent is just going to move out the climb on, hit the, uh, you know, Mimi's effect by hatching a Digi Egg, since he's got a level 5 or higher green now, and then run into another Terrymon assistant, uh, so that's going to draw him another card. So, this is reminiscent a little bit of, I think, like, 1.5, like, set, it's not like 1.5 through, like, set 4 and 5, like, green, where it was just, like, a tower deck, basically, you just constantly cycled, used Mimi to hatch more eggs, and you always had, like, 15, 20 cards in hand, so it's pretty cool stuff. We're going to see, uh, the sloth once again reveal the top three and then add the shiva mon uh because it can add any just level um or not not level any any green digimon uh, also there's the one cost option card there whose name i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce uh but you guys know which one i mean the shiva mon one where you can uh, of course suspend one of your digimon to suspend one of your opponent's digimon or tamers which tamer interaction by the way is pretty sick but i'm going to get absolutely molly by nidhogg here because nidhogg is able to then bottom deck both of my digimon including the sword defeat and again like i as I was saying Zwart Defeat is a pretty big uh, like tempo turn. It's a really, really good card against the green deck. So not only is that going to clear my board, but then I'm not going to gain any memory off Cody since I have no Digimon on the field, basically. Uh, I did miraculously draw into the Jet Selfie Mon, which is like basically the only missing piece I needed. So we're going to Digivolve Kazimon into Jet Selfie for one and then recover. And then going to go into a Fonimon Fall Down mode for a cost of four. Uh, she has two really cool effects when Digivolving in this deck specifically. You basically only recover one because you're not going to have a purple Digimon underneath their source, but then of course on deletion you get to just play any yellow or purple level 4 or lower back from your trash, so it's again helps you with the recyclability, um, you're not necessarily reliant on Susano Mon to like um, get more hybrids, you can bring stuff back from the trash, so it's really cool, gonna hit a TK and then grab the Zephyr Mon from security, so now we're starting to get into it, this deck takes a little bit of time to get ready, but you see I've got some stuff to work with here, drew into another Jet Selfie as well, and I've got the Zwart Defeat in hand to go on top of the Onfani Mon Fall Down mode, which is really sick especially because she's a dual yellow purple digimon i can follow up the recover play with a really really powerful tamer destruction play and then of course Zwart defeat just being on the field is really difficult for my opponent to deal with we're going to use the mimi effect to hatch another digi egg which argomon by the way has not seen play like whatsoever since 1.5 and it might be you know on the rise again just because of shivamon being able to gain a couple memory at every time you like your digimon unsuspend because you're basically going to keep your digimon suspended during your opponent turn anyways. Uh, so then we're just going to hatch and then start building up into another uh, big, uh, probably mega play the next turn, whether it be a Nidhogg or a Shivamon, because we know he does have the Shivamon in his hand. Just going to try to dig more cards with the Terriermon Assistant by Digibursting 1, revealing the top card of the deck, but unfortunately for my opponent, it was the one of Hidden Potential Discovered. So that is going to go to the bottom, which is pretty good news for me. I don't want to have to deal with my opponent getting a free evolution, especially because I don't have anything uh, like a cute mon or anything to be able to prevent my opponent um, from you know reducing evolution costs. So we're going to see the climb on there, and I am actually going to gain a memory because Cody um, like gains me a memory if I have a yellow Digimon and no funny mon fall down. Of course, is a dual yellow purple. So going to start with four. I was debating here whether or not just to like hard evolve to Susano to like delete the Nidhogg or something, but I figured that probably isn't the best play. I'm going to swing first to proc the Cody uh, just to delete an extra body, and here I was like, oh, what are the chances I'll die? But of course, I ended up dying hitting a Chaos Mon Valdorama. I was really upset about that because I was going to follow up with a Zwart Defeat play um, or a Suzanamon play to be able to, you know, clear my opponent's Mimi or his Nidhogg. But of course, the Funny Mon Fall Down is going to be able to float into something. I'm going to bring back the Zephyrmon just to be a little, like, play around Nidhogg just a little bit. Of course, she's just higher attack, so that's generally better. Uh, I can, however, just evolve Jet Sylphie here uh, for a cost of three. I was debating whether or not to just use one of my TKs, but thinking about it, it's the same memory cost anyways because you'd have to go like Zephyr for two, Jet Selfie for one, and in this case I'd be using one less card just straight going into Jet Selfie, so recovering one since she does have a hybrid underneath him, and then just going into the Ophanimon fall down once, again going back to seven security. So the grind game of this deck is absolutely crazy, and you can just play so many cool uh, techie cards. Drew into the Flame Hell Sight there, which of course, I, I think that card is like one of the craziest option cards they've ever printed. Uh, we're going to see the one cost option card of course being able to suspend uh one of my opponents digimon to suspend my ofanimon uh being able to then probably just swing over it with the nidhogg so that's really unfortunate that uh you know i'm going to be able to get ran over there since ofanimon is only 12,000 as compared to the nidhogg's 13 
uh, 1000 DP. Uh, are we going to see the Mimi proc first? Uh, he is running, that's the thing about using Mimi in the, like, the green, like, kind of just evolution decks is the fact, uh, that you run out of eggs pretty quickly. No, we're going to swing, uh, at security first, and then we're going to Digivolve into Shivamon. So, Shivamon, uh, first of all, while all of your Digimons are suspended, your opponent can use option cards. Now, we're actually going to let my opponent take this back a little bit. We're going to use the Namekmon first, and then go into Shivamon just to be able to freeze me out of option cards that's definitely the better play so again slight like let's let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and you know say that we use namek one first and then go into shivamon so that now i am locked out of option cards but not only that um if the shivamon unsuspends during my opponent's turn next turn i will immediately just lose the top card of my security which is pretty detrimental uh to my deck now the unfortunate thing is i can't swing over it because uh the ofanimon fall down mode it will not unsuspend because of the uh one cost option card effect so it actually just stays suspended so i won't be able to swing over it. i don't have enough memory to go like zephyr jet selfie mega plus like you know swing over so that's not going to happen um i can't use the flame hell side because of course he's got the shiva mon on field so i think realistically i just have to like play some tamers uh possibly digivol this word defeat in here just to like get rid of the mimi and like deter him from attacking over uh my digimon that might not be a terrible play i was also thinking of hard digivolve the suzanamon but i was like you know checking just how many hybrids that i have in my trash i think it's better to just be able to recycle so i'm going to first digivolve into zephyr jet selfie just to recover one definitely not in fear of dying i'm going to swing over uh the namek one maybe or probably just keep that unsuspended actually yeah so just gonna keep that unsuspended um, oh, oh no, actually, okay, yeah, actually, yeah, it, this might be the better play just because, um, being able to get more hybrids and trash is pretty nice for Susano. so we're just going to swing over the sloth there with the jet selfie, and then digivolve, uh, into the Zwart defeat for a cost of three, deleting my opponent's Mimi, uh, and putting him to two memory. Now, I will say right here, so the Shivamon unsuspends, and then I lose the top card on my security, but then also the Argomon underneath the Shivamon should proc, putting my opponent to three memory, but we're gonna see here uh, his play doesn't necessarily matter because I'm going to start with three and it's going to pass turn regardless if he was at two or three um, so we're just going to unsuspend the Shivamon probably going to start attacking now the problem is though because unless he has like another one of the option cards um, I will be able to just like attack over the Shivamon the following turn so we're just going to swing over anyways to lock me out of option cards regardless going to swing the Nidhogg uh, into security hitting a Kazemon and then we're just going to see a uh, Namekmon at some point here played for a cost of four yep so that's like i was saying if he was at two or three it doesn't matter because the card passed turn anyway uh so going to play that for a cost of four um and then going to bring out my gazimon not going to gain off cody because i don't have a yellow digimon in play and also not going to gain off tk kari because i'm at five security but we're just going to swing over the shivamon unfortunately my opponent had no blockers so i'm going to clear that because that is definitely the most prominent threat against my deck just being able to constantly trash all of my cards and then not to mention if I, he gets double shivamon on field there's probably no way i'm winning the game uh so now that i'm uh, able to utilize option cards once again i'm going to play the flame hell side of course meeting the color requirements since i've got yellow tamers plus the gazimon deleting my opponent's uh, level four there and then being able to play back another card is just so crazy like getting two really really powerful effects of course if i was playing something like magna anjumon the, the crazy thing about this card i think is that it specifies dp and not level because there's a lot of level five yellow those purples that are actually 6,000 or lower. So being able to play like a ultimate off of that effect as well is pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to see the Monochromon and Digivolve for two. Nidhogg is going to swing into security, putting me to four memory. Probably doesn't want to swing again with the Monochromon uh, just because... Uh, that will let me proc the TK Kari. We're going to Digizorb 2 into the Pistmon. And Nidhogg here would be absolutely huge. Uh, but unfortunately for my opponent, he does not have it. He's going to go Shivamon instead. So Shivamon, of course... While all of your opponent's Digimon, or while your, um, you know, Digimon are suspended, your opponent cannot utilize option cards. So again, can't use the Chaos of Grade or anything, but, uh, like, it doesn't really matter. My opponent doesn't have any blockers or anything because I can just slowly pick away at his Digimon. He, I don't think he really had any other plays, which is, of course, the unfortunate part about this deck so far. Uh, so I'm just going to swing over the Shivamon anyways, uh, putting my opponent down uh, one Digimon lower just with the Nidhogg on field. But now that I can, uh, you know, use option cards, I can just Chaos of Grade away. 
but we're going to go Shakuamon. So Shakuamon, and if Digivolving, you've got uh, five or fewer security cards, you can just recover one. That's not even the DNA Digivolution requirement. Um, it's just an indiscriminate recover one, which is pretty sick. Going to hit another Valder Arm in security, which at this point I'm getting pretty tired of that. So uh, you, you know, it, it, it's it is what it is. But right now I'm going to then just utilize the Suzanomon's effect to put ten hybrids and or yellow tamers uh, to the bottom of my deck in order to Digivolve one of my Digimon into Suzanomon. So going to TK Kari into Suzanomon for seven, popping the Nidhog, and just like that, my opponent's board is cleared. And like I said earlier, um, he doesn't have any eggs to come back with. And next turn, I can just swing three with Suzanomon and play out uh, the rest of the game, just OTK him basically. So um, we're going to see uh, the uh, Climbmon, or is that the that's the Pissmon I think uh, played. And then I'm just going to swing a security with the Suzanomon, check triple cards, um, and then hit him for a game with the Gazi. But guys, that's going to be game. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments about these two decks. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.